Hi, this is Jonathan, Customer Experience Manager here at SimplyCast.com. Today we're going to talk about Facebook. We're going to talk about setting up your Facebook account in our platform, creating a Facebook project that we can post to either our timeline or Facebook page, and we're going to talk about posting an email newsletter directly to Facebook so you can share it with your friends. All right, uh, so right now I'm on the Facebook dashboard and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the settings tab on the left. And that's where you want to go to create um, the association between your Facebook account and our platform. And this is done by clicking on the add account button. All right. So now you see that the Facebook page is loaded and then it's asking me for permission basically to add uh, our system to my Facebook account. If I wasn't logged in, I would have to log in first, but it just so happens that I'm already logged into Facebook. So I'm just gonna click on OK, because that's going to give our platform permission uh, to post. I actually have to do that twice because it gives me a little confirmation here. And then it's going to ask if we can manage pages. Um, and this would be like, for example, if we wanted to post an email newsletter here. So I'm going to say OK. All right, it's done. So now you'll see on this page, we now have a new Facebook account here. So this is the demo account that I've created uh, for this video. And you'll see a drop down box beside it. And there are two options here. The first one says own timeline. And the other one is a Facebook page that I created called SC Demo Co Company. And this drop down box basically lets you set the default. So I'm going to say I want to have posts by default go to the page that I had, already, I had created in my account. So I'm going to select it from the drop down, then hit set as default. There, done. Now, if I had a, a different plan, I would be able to create multiple Facebook accounts here and then choose where I want to post um, my messages to. But right now I'm just using a demo account, basically a free account. So I can only have one Facebook account associated with it. If I wanted to delete the account, I would just go to the delete account button. Then I can remove it and then add a different one if I wanted to. So now that we've got that set up, let's go over to the summary tab. And this is the same page you get to when you go to the Facebook dashboard. So let's go and create our Facebook project that we're going to post. So I'm going to click on Create Project. So the first thing we have to do is give our project a name. So I'm just going to call it My Facebook Project. So now that I've entered the project name, I'm just going to go down to the bottom right and click on the Next button. So now we're on the Setup Project page. And you might be wondering exactly what a Facebook project is. And a Facebook project is basically a series of posts that you can place either on your Facebook timeline or on your Facebook page, depending on what you set up in here. So right now on the Setup Project page, we can see the account that I set up earlier and then the drop-down box that has my page set up. If I wanted to change this, assuming I had more than one Facebook account, I can use the Manage Accounts button. And this will actually take me right back to the previous settings page um, that we talked about a little earlier. So I'm pretty content with this, so I'm just going to click on the Next button in the bottom right. So now we're ready to design our Facebook project and add posts to it. So I'm just going to click on the Add Post button just over on the left here. And then this is going to give me a few different options for what type of post I want to add. So you have a few options. You can just do a text post. So it's pretty basic, just some text. You can do a link. So you can include a link with your, your post. You can create a milestone. Or you can just do a photo, for example. So in this case, I'm going to choose the option for, let's do a link click on the start button and then you're going to see the post appear right in the design here so you're going to see um, a very familiar look if you're used to posting on Facebook yourself 
you're going to see this very familiar uh, look and feel. So we can type our message here in this box. We can also type in more specific information. So for example, I can insert an image by clicking on this box. And I'm going to click on this one here. So that inserts a, an image there. And then I can put in a title, a caption, and a description just by clicking on each of these boxes. And I can also uh, click on here to share a link. So uh, if I wanted it to go to a particular site, I could just type it in here. So for example, we could have it go to example.com. And then that'll be included in the post itself. We can then decide when we want to schedule it. And this is done over here on the right. So for example, right now it's set to schedule now. But if I want to schedule it tomorrow, for example, I could choose the 18th in this case. And let's make this go out around noontime. There. OK. And then I can choose if I want to repeat the post. So if I just want it to go out once, I would just leave repeat set to none. But I can change this to be daily, weekly, bi-weekly, and so on. So let's post this about once a week. Now you'll notice there's another button in here that says feed targeting. And if I click on this button, we can actually choose how we're going to post this content. So we could try to target it towards particular genders. We could target particular age groups, as well as countries. And then this will dictate you know, who's going to see this particular post, as far as like where it's targeted to. For example, let's say that I have an advertisement that I'm creating that's targeted towards an American audience that's between the ages of 25 to 40. I could go in here and basically change the age group to it's 25. And I'm just basically clicking on each of these little sliders here. And I'll click on the other one, bring that down to 40. So now we've got our age, 25 to 40. And then we can select the country. So I'm going to choose the US in this case. And I'm going to have no preference on the gender because only the age and the country matters to me for this ad. So if I hit save and close, this post is going to be targeted towards that group of people. If I decided I wanted to delete the post, say I didn't decided, you know, oh, I don't, I don't want to schedule this and post it on my page, I could just hit delete post. We could also go here and create multiple posts. So you don't have to go in and do this one at a time. Uh, you could set up a whole schedule. So we could hit add post again and maybe we'll insert maybe just a photo. And you can see how that looks here. You can see that each one is, is slightly different. And we could do a milestone. So you can see all these different types of posts that, that you're, you're probably used to from, from using Facebook. So I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. Oops. So I'm just going to delete those posts just so you can see how that works. And then we're back to our original um, design. So now let's proceed and finish our project so we can post this. So I'm going to click on the Next button down in the bottom right. Before I hit Next, I just noticed that I made a mistake in the example that I entered for the link. So I'm just going to go back up where I typed in www.example.com and just add HTTP in front of it. And this is important because the, if I didn't add this, the system would give me a warning saying I need to go back and do it. So just enter that. And now we can click Next to finalize the project. So here we are on the Review Settings page. So this is the final review before you finalize the posts that you're going to be adding to Facebook. So we can see a couple of green checkboxes here. And 
If there were any issues, if I had forgotten to do something here, the system would give me an alert, a little exclamation point, or a red X, depending on um, the severity of the issue that I needed to correct. But because we have green checkboxes, we're good to go. And I'm just going to click on the Complete Project button over here on the left. And this is going to basically get our post ready. And that's it. We're done. So we've just set up our post to go out tomorrow. And you can see it here now in the summary. If we have to edit it, we can click on the Edit button. If we decide we're not going to use it, we can delete it. So next, let's talk about uh, some of the other features that you can do with Facebook. So let's talk about first the newsletters feature. So here we are on the newsletters page. And this is a really great feature that lets you take an email campaign that you've already created in your account and post it directly to your Facebook page. So here you can see um, the account and the page that I've set up. Naturally, if you have more of these, they're going to appear in these lists, so you can pick and choose. And then we can go over to the right here where it says select a newsletter. And then we can decide what we're going to post directly to the page. So let's say I want to post um, another message that I created. I could just click on one of them here. So I'll choose uh, my message. That's what I called it. And if I want to post this to the page, I just have to go down and click on Add Newsletter to Newsletters app. And then as soon as I click on that, I'm going to go back to Facebook. And then it's going to ask me where, where I want to add this. So I can choose the page. So I'm going to choose the SC Demo page that I created. And then I'm going to click on the Add Page tab. And then this is going to add a section to my Facebook page where these newsletters would be posted to. And once I do that, the system returns me back to the main dashboard. So we've got a few other things you want to talk about on Facebook. So I'm going to go back up to the Facebook menu and then just return to the dashboard. So now we're back on the Facebook dashboard. So now I'm just going to briefly talk about the page manager. And I'm just going to click on the page manager tab. What this allows you to do is to make changes to the properties of pages that you've set up without actually having to log into Facebook. So now let's talk about reports. So I'm going to click on the reports tab. So here we are on the Facebook reports. And this is where you'll see uh, different projects that you've created and where you'll also be able to look at the details of these projects. So this way you can see how many people liked your post, how many people commented, and that kind of thing. So right now I have a really generic uh, project. Uh, this one was called Title Goes Here. <laughs> and I'm just going to click on the Open button over on the right hand side. If I had a few projects here, I could actually compare them at the same time using the Compare button. But I'm going to click on Open to see my details. And then this is going to bring up the Facebook post report. So you can see my title, message, as well as the user and the page uh, that this was posted to. So this is just something I set up for a demo. And right now it doesn't have any likes or comments. But if it did, uh, these would show up right here in the report. So you'd be able to check those out. So once I'm done looking at the details, I can just go up and click on Close Report. So that wraps up our walkthrough of the Facebook application. So we've set up our Facebook account and associated it with the platform. We've created a post, and we've talked about how you can post to your timeline or your Facebook page. And we've talked about some of the other features, such as the newsletters feature and page manager as well as reporting. If you have any questions, check out our FAQs, tweet us at simplycasthelp, or send us an email to support at simplycast.com. Thanks for watching.